In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated split screen effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe After Effects and I've got these eight videos on my timeline and I want to create this really awesome split screen animation with these. So in order to do that, we first just want to put these all the way up to the very beginning. So as you can see, these are staggered. We want them to all be at the zero second mark. So we're just going to shift them back. Now, once you've done that, you just want to change the scale of these down. So I'm just going to highlight all of these. We'll press S on the keyboard to load scale. And we'll just pull these down to a smaller number. So because I'm working with 5K footage, it's already at 38. So I need to pull it down to 18, but you might only need to pull it down to 50 or 60 if you're working with 1080p footage. So as you can see, this is our top layer here. This is our second layer. This is our third layer. So what we're gonna do from here is just work through each individual layer and just move them to where we want them to go. So we'll select all of the layers, press P on the keyboard to load position. Then we'll just select the first layer and we'll move the position over to the left. There you go, like this. Then we'll leave the second one here and we'll go over to the third layer and we'll move the position over to the right like this. There you go. That looks really good already. Now what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to have three videos animating across the top, three videos animating across the bottom and two in the middle maybe. So in order to do that, we're first just going to group these first three. And in order to do that, we're just going to create a null object. So we'll go layer, new, null object. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll link these first three videos to the null. So we'll highlight all of those. And then we use this parent and link tool and drag that onto the null. Alternatively, you can just press this box, which is null one. And if you can't see that, you can go into columns and reveal this here. So parent and link is ticked. If I unticked that, you can see it disappears. But if I add the columns, add that in, we've got parent and link. So now those three videos are linked to our null object. And that means we can control all of these three videos using this null. So we're going to transform and we'll scale this down and we'll move this up to the top of the frame. So we'll just move that up there for now. Now we're going to go down to our next three videos. But before we do that, I'm just going to mark these three colors in a different color so that we know they're part of a group. So we'll highlight all of those and then we'll click on this color box here and we'll change this to, let's change this to orange. So they're all orange now. The orange group is the top group. Now we'll do our next three and we'll do the same thing again. We're going to do the bottom here. So we'll select this video on video layer five. We'll move the position over. There we go, like this. We'll keep this one here. We'll move down. We'll move the position of this one across. But at the moment, you can't actually see it because if we zoom in, it's not at the beginning. So we'll nudge that over. And now we'll just move the position back in. So that's now in. And now we'll do the same thing again. We'll create a new null object. So layer, new, null object. And we'll drag this down on top of this group. Highlight those three video clips. And we'll parent them to the null. Whilst they're highlighted, by the way, feel free to change the color again. So let's go for green this time. Then we'll go into that null object, transform, and we'll pull down the scale to 75 and we'll pull the position down like this. So as you can see, we've got this gap here for these two videos. So what we would do here is just move the position of this one over to the left. So let's move that to around there. We'll move the other one over there. There you go, that looks cool. And then we'll just link those to their own null object. So we'll go layer, new, null object, select those bottom two layers and parent those to the null object. Again, feel free to color these if you wanted to. And then we'll go null three, transform. We'll bring the scale down so that these now fit in the middle. There you go, like this. So as you can see, all of these videos are now divided into three sections. So you've got null one, null two, and null three, and these can all be animated over time. So we don't actually have to touch the footage. We only have to really worry about the null objects here. So we'll make sure we're at the very beginning. We'll go into null one, 
0 2 0 3 we'll press position on the keyboard so p on the keyboard to load position and create a brand new keyframe on the position now feel free to adjust the position if you wanted to on any of these so i'm just going to move the top one over to the left the bottom one over to the right and then that one in the middle i'm just going to move over to the left just a little like this now we'll move maybe four seconds to the right and we'll just update the position again so because we've made those keyframes now when we're moving the position of these these are now going to animate over time so let's see how that looks and there you go as you can see that looks really cool we've got this nice parallax the top is going to the right the bottom is going to the left and it creates this really nice effect so there you go Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.